So uh, thank you very much everyone and I'm uh, absolutely excited because the topic for my signature workshop MRI for you is a slice of the work that I've been doing for so many years. So coming right uh, onto how a MRI machine looks and some of you I guess uh, must have already seen that and uh, well there has been a lot of changes uh, that have been happening. Now what we can see in the center of the image here, right, is that's the place where you get in and uh, the scanners which were there earlier, you know one used to have a feeling, I'm going to go inside but I'm not going to come out. But now we have more improvised designs as we will look in detail and they are much more patient friendly. So just a few technical terms uh, you, you may often come across when you are you know, having a situation where either you, your friend, your relative or your neighbor has to do an MRI and you land up in a hospital or an institute. So one of that is uh, 18 channel that is shown there. So channels are components of hardware and those uh, you know like more the number of channels better the system. And of course 1.5 Tesla is the standard you know uh, for MRI systems everywhere but I would like to say here that all 1.5 Tesla systems are not the same. If you have uh, four wheelers are all four wheelers the same? No like you know we are privileged to have a great uh, four wheelers outside here IITD which we look at in awe. So therefore all four wheelers are different and so is like all 1.5 Tesla is not the same. So please keep that in mind. So definitely MRI is a golden handshake between technology and medicine because this is the area which you know with progressing technology gets impacted immediately because we have newer things coming up every couple of months. In other fields also technology does influence the work but in this field it comes much more directly. Now this is just one you know diagram to depict what exactly happens when MRI is being done. Now it is the fact that 60% of our body has water and that is made use of when we generate a MRI machine. Now that would be the simplest way to put it because I don't want to make it you know too burdensome on you but roughly there are tissues where there is much less water like in the lungs or in the bone but on an average there is approximately 60% water in the human body. Successful treatment always begins with precise diagnosis.